I'm Dennis Downey, and I'm chair of the sociology program at California State University Channel Islands. I'm happy to introduce an initiative to redesign our social stratification course to make it better serve our program and our students. We're trying to accomplish two things with this initiative. First, we want to save our students money. We're all concerned about the high levels of student debt that graduates often have when they start their lives after graduation. This initiative is our part in trying to keep from adding to those debts. But we wanted to do something even more fundamental with this redesign. Our sociology curriculum emphasizes systematic empirical inquiry. That is, we focus on understanding our social world through rigorous explanations supported by systematic evidence. That means that we need to focus on skills and processes at least as much as our concepts and ideas in our classes. To accomplish that, it's essential to select materials carefully to ensure that they give students the right cues in terms of what is rigorous thinking and what is valid evidence. We've learned that we can do that best by selecting materials on our own, piece by piece, rather than opting for a ready-made textbook that may help to organize a course and cover the breadth of the subfield, but which doesn't model that systematic empirical inquiry. So, while moving away from texts helps our students to graduate with just a little less debt, it also allows us to deliver an education that we believe will best serve them in the future. Now, let me turn it over to some of my wonderful colleagues who made all of this happen. My name is Elizabeth Sowers, and I'm part of the team that redesigned our SOCH 350 social stratification course. At the programmatic level, we impacted 160 students in SOCH 350 in fall 2016 and spring 2017. One textbook that we might have used cost $92. So this is a savings of over $14,000 for our students this year alone. And these savings will continue every year as we move forward. For my section of SOCH 350, I curated a selection of peer-reviewed journal articles. Our program has designated SOCH 350 as an advanced introductory course that aims to equalize preparation between our transfer students, who are almost 75% of our students, and our native students. Journal articles help us with this goal because they allow us to emphasize systematic empirical inquiry via the high quality scientific research presented in these articles. My students loved that there was no textbook to purchase and that all of the reading was posted on day one of the course. My students didn't love the difficulty level or the length of the articles, but they built up precisely the skills they will need to succeed in our major as the semester moved along. The use of electronic readings made a positive contribution to my class and left the students better prepared to succeed in the rest of their upper division coursework. Hi, I'm Celine Fuller and I taught social stratification at CI this past fall semester. As a CI sociology alum, I had the perspective of a teacher as well as a former student of the program. I tried to reflect on the experiences I had with my classmates and how we navigated through our courses. A lot of my classmates came from working class backgrounds and other disadvantaged communities. We all struggled to understand the complexity of the material we were assigned. When deciding on what readings I would assign my class, I focused on articles I felt students could push themselves to understand. I wanted them to work to make sense of the material, but with the purpose of becoming better sociologists and more informed individuals. I also chose articles that I thought were of a reasonable length for our students who are often working or taking care of families. We discussed techniques for reading and understanding the material. By the end of the semester, students were better able to deconstruct the theories and the studies they'd read and apply it to the world around them today. Hi, I'm Juan Pitones and I'm a part of the collective of sociology faculty that's come together to help redesign our social stratification course. A critical aspect of the redesign involved making use of peer-reviewed articles in place of a normative course textbook. As a current and previous instructor of this course, making use of articles has benefited both my students' wallets and my overall instruction. Peer-reviewed articles allow me to cover a diverse set of authors and topics that include specific discussions of scientific data and its analysis. In other words, articles not only provide sociological analysis, but they also provide a discussion of the supporting evidence and the scientific methods used. Students can see real-world application of scientific methods in various contexts. This is often too difficult to accomplish within a normative course text. Aside from the costs and teaching, students also get a glimpse into the nature of sociological research. Some of the articles I've used can be a bit of a challenge to students unaccustomed with higher-end academic literature, but this is okay, because it exposes students to the type of literature that they will encounter in upper division, literally, coursework. This way, students get a peek into upper division type coursework and their requirements. Overall, the use of journal articles has taken my social stratification course into a more productive and effective direction. Hello. My name is Mark Jepson, and I teach in the Sociology Department at California State University, Channel Islands. For the last several months, I have been working with my colleagues on a project to redesign the department's social stratification course. 
A key part of the project includes making all of the assigned reading for the course available in digital format. One of the most challenging aspects of the conversion process is compiling all of the hard copies of the book chapters and journal articles for scanning by the library staff. Copyright restrictions have compelled me to rely heavily on journal articles, since faculty are only allowed to use 15% of a book without having to obtain permission from the publisher. If you're assigning articles from a reader, this limitation can be avoided if the library staff can find similar versions of the articles in other publications, such as journals. The biggest drawback is posting chapters from a textbook if you intend to assign more than 15% of a book. Despite these limitations, despite these content limitations, I now have about 30 scholarly articles and book chapters and around 100 newspaper and magazine articles posted in the e-reserve of my CI Learn course. Now that all of the assigned reading for the course is accessible online for free, each of my students saves about $120 on the cost of textbooks. None of this savings would have been realized without the expert technical support of, of the library staff. I strongly encourage all of my colleagues at the university to participate in the textbook affordability initiative. As more and more of our students struggle to pay for school, we as faculty can ease their financial burden by reducing, if not eliminating, the cost of books.